I don't give investment advice, but I do wanna tell you about a high yielding, low risk investment that's backed by the US government and is paying more than three times the rate of a 30 year government bond and more than 120 times the average savings account. It's called a Series I savings bond, or I bond for short. I'm gonna tell you what I bonds are, where and how to get them, and why in a world where seemingly everyone is looking for safe investments with high returns, you've probably never heard of them. Let's get into it. What are I bonds? I bonds are savings bonds produced by the US government. They're known an interest rate based on combining a fixed rate with the inflation rate. The fixed rate is pretty low right now. In fact, it's 0.00%. But the inflation rate, which is set based on the consumer price index, is quite high at 7.12%. That rate is reevaluated every six months in May and November. Just one year ago, when my colleague Jason's Y wrote about I bonds, the rate was a measly 3.54%. Thanks to inflation, it has more than doubled. And based on the way the CPI has been moving over the past year or so, the next rate might be even higher. I bonds are issued by the US Treasury Department and pay interest over a 30 year period, but you can redeem them after as little as one year with a small penalty. They were introduced in 1998 by former Vice President Al Gore as a way to save for things like college and retirement and to quote, ensure that those savings are never undercut by future inflation. Like US Treasury bonds, savings bonds are a loan to the federal government. But unlike Treasury bonds, you can't sell them to other investors or hold them in brokerage accounts. And you can't buy I bonds from banks or brokers anymore. I bonds can only be purchased on the US Treasury's website, treasurydirect.gov, or through your tax return if you wanna buy the old school paper kind. That's a big reason why so few people have heard of them. I talked to Treasury spokesman John Rizzo, who said there's no real advertising campaign to tell the public about these bonds outside of treasurydirect.gov. Since they don't generate a profit for anyone except the bondholders, there aren't any big advertising campaigns. And there are no plans to change that, even though most people have never heard of treasurydirect.gov. Through March, the public held just $56 billion worth of I bonds. That's less than one quarter of 1% of all US debt held by the public. For comparison, about $3 trillion worth of 30-year treasury bonds have been issued this year. Getting a Treasury Direct account can also be a bit of a hassle. I tried signing up and was told that because their systems couldn't verify my identity online, I had to print out a form and fill it out. Then I had to take that form to a bank and have a certifying officer confirm my identity. And then I had to mail it back to them, at which point my account could be opened in 10 to 15 days. But officials also tell me the Treasury Department is, quote, in the process of developing an updated modern replacement for the current Treasury Direct system. So things could be getting easier. There is one other catch. You can only buy $10,000 worth of I bonds each calendar year. Sorry, Mr. Hedge Fund. And the I bond interest rate does fluctuate with inflation. So if prices cool down, your I bond interest rate will cool down too. But it will never fall below zero, so you can't lose money. When I think about I-bonds, I think about the late great Russell Jones, AKA Old Dirty Bastard, who said, why wouldn't you want to get free money? I'll see you next time.